And here we go. And it'll be the Hawkeyes ball to start things off. 23 and 12 coming in. After winning their conference tournament, inside they go to Tyler Burton. But as they settle into this game, look for them to really get better shots because they want the better offensive teams we have in the country. Robracha, fade away. Got his hands clear of that. The rebound is to Richmond. Backdoor cut, Gilliard. Great pass by Golden. Probably not going to bother Gilliard too much. No, nope. one, one of the steadier guards we have in the nation. There's a nice pass by Golden again. That's his second great dish. Bohannon got a pick. Let's fly. Too strong on the three. I will keep it alive. McCaffrey will try triple of his own. Got Hello. it. You can't miss shots and then get a little tentative. Gilliard. Jumper goes. Is it a three? It is. Never in a hurry. Understands he can get to wherever he needs to on the court with his speed and quickness. And then he's an excellent decision maker. Murray up high in the paint. This guy's hit some big shots in the tournament in the 8-10. Hook shot on the baseline will go. Matt Grace. Maybe all the way. Whoops. Slipped and Look fell. Up. Turnover and a run out oh, for Gilliard. Might, might get spicy. Oh, <laughs> nice thought, and easy. Nice and easy. Two other attempts missed on the stickbacks. And back come the Hawkeyes. Chance to cut it to one. And they do with Keegan Murray on the drive. Gilliard trying to sprint Great inside pass. and does. Great dish to Kao. Nathan Kao. First basket. Keegan Murray. The kick out. They move it around the perimeter. Chris Murray on the drive with the left hand. Nice drive. And I'm not sure if it's Richmond being too physical. Maybe he's just pulling the string a little bit. But he hasn't looked as comfortable as I've seen him all year long in the post. Gilliard. Left hand with a little English. Nice dish inside from Connor McCaffrey to Peyton Sanford. Keegan Murray's drive on the baseline, just too fast. Courtesy of this baseline slam by Keegan Murray. Gilliard was going one way, and Gilliard was going the other. And here's Iowa with a slam on the other end with Rabracha. Oh, what a pass by Gilliard and the roll by Gustafson. McCaffrey with the rebound. Working it all the way down for a turnaround jumper from the free throw line and got it. Coach McCaffrey is very excited about his son. There's a chance that Keegan Murray might take his talent somewhere else to the NBA. And if he does do that, that's going to open up opportunity. And he maybe can take advantage of the same way Keegan Murray did. And, and the same way Burton took advantage and hit that. Throw. Iowa, the fourth best scoring team in the country and number one in the Big Ten. And they're having quite a struggle to find points today. Here's Burton. Oh, what a tough shot right through Chris Murray. He is always on go mode and looking to attack. Murray actually got a piece of that, too, and it still went off the window and in. So a chance for a three-point play for Tyler Burton. I can't remember the last time I said Iowa had a good offensive possession or got a good look. That wasn't too bad by Tony Perkins, his first pass. Let's be honest. Everybody was singing their praises, talking about how great they were. They just won the Big Ten tournament. It looked like they came out a little bit flat. Whoa. How about that move? Backdoor pass. cut. Beautiful pass from Golden. Great backdoor pass by Golden. Roommates for four years together at Richmond. They know each other inside and out. Outside is Patrick McCaffrey. And he needed that one. He needed that one. Iowa needed that one. Here's a guy that was star on both ends in the first half. Burton and now Golden going hard to the rack. What a block. Woo. Let him have it right back in his face. Heat check. Patrick McCaffrey's got two in a row. There's those threes that they need. You're down a little bit. You're the higher seed. You need your bench to help lift your guys up. And Perkins on a drive and one. Bohannon thought about a... He wanted to let it fly. 27-foot <laughs> three. He didn't take it. McCaffrey will take it, and he is hot right now. Patrick McCaffrey, eight points and a half, 13 for the game. Gilliard will trigger it. 
Nice bounce pass, no look to KO. When you said Keegan Murray hadn't had a look in a while, you weren't kidding. Yeah, it's, been a, it's been a long time since he's had a jumper. Three Eight. seconds on the shot clock on the inbounds play. Golden finger he roll. Is. He finally got one. Took his time, finished that one off. Patrick McCaffrey hoists one up. Too strong off the window. Gilliard with the outlet to KO. Can he outrun the Hawkeyes? Yes, Hello. he can. Gilliard with Bohannon on him. He's going to take the long three anyway. Got it. Kicks it out, Bohannon. Finally got a look for three and got it. First points for Jordan Bohannon. They could have been in some deep trouble. Three-pointer number 454. Couldn't have come at a better time for Bohannon, but the answer on the other end. Dusan off the window. So Iowa after the long dry spell. Looking to push it to his brother, Keegan. In the lane and off the window. Murray to Murray. Iowa back to within one. And once again, we're looking to do a series of dribble handoffs, eat, eat into this clock, try to wear this clock down, slow Iowa down, and then take advantage later on. And wow, Matt not, Grace, nice drive. Yes, Grace with an excellent baseline drive. He just took that basket. KO off the window around Murray. He goes right back to it. He is heavy getting to that right hand. Gilliard, three, got it. That's three straight wide open three. Bohannon got his man in the air, got the three. Bohannon's got to give it up. Keegan Murray on top, got his man in the air, almost lost the dribble, got it to McCaffrey, and he buried it three. Patrick McCaffrey's fourth three-pointer. Shot clock's winding down. Five on the shot clock. They get it inside to Keegan on the baseline off the window. And that big was shot big when they needed it. That was big time. He set his base. It's money time. I know Keegan hasn't had the best game, but I want the ball in my best player's hands. Gilliard to Golden. And another Golden pass. Bohannon with Gilliard on him. They get it back to him, just over two to go. Keegan Murray draws a double to the foul. And one. Right through it, and one. Down to a minute and a half to go. Kale, five to shoot. In close, up and, and under. Uh-oh. Get the ball to your best player. Patrick McCaffrey almost lost the dribble. Chris That's a foul. Murray. Yes, big but oh, he, he didn't, call, he didn't it. call it. That was a foul. He sure looked like it. Approaching a half minute. And now KO's loose again. And one. scored again. That might be the KO. Two possession game with 34 seconds to go. And now you got to have a three. McCaffrey's going to work it inside and score it off the window, but it might be too little too late. The pass over to Burton, and now the inbounds will come if they can get it. And turnover. Turnover. Another foul. And another Murray. foul. Got it to wow. go. That's supposed to be an and one. First trip for Jacob. He's done everything else but hit free throws tonight. This afternoon, I should say. Calmly rips the first one. But with 15 seconds left, Iowa doesn't have to hoist up a bad three. You can still get a two and continue to play the free throw game if the two is immediate. This could make it a two-possession game right here. And he does calmly. McCaffrey will inbound. He's been their hottest hand from three-point land. He cross-courts it to Keegan Murray. Bohannon on a running three. Too short. Rebound. KO had a hand on it and lost it out of bounds. It'll be Iowa ball with 5.5. If he hits these two free throws, they're going to be playing set. Gilliard's got one more right here that should do it if he hits it. Otherwise, look out. Plenty of time for Iowa with five seconds, and he just calmly knocks it down. That's it. Both Murrays are in there, Keegan and Chris. The lob to Keegan on the flush. The official have a chance to call a foul right here. Just back up. If Richmond didn't win four games in the A-10 tournament, they wouldn't even be here. And now they come in it's as academic. a 12 seed, and they call it a travel. 
Lobs it. It's over. Richmond beats Iowa.